So I just upgraded my printer at home. Now I don't need color, so I always go with a black and white laser printer. And I just ran across this new model from Canon. This is the image class MF453DW. There's a couple other versions that look pretty much identical. I think there's one model higher than this. This one just doesn't have the ability to fax, but I hardly ever do that unless there's no other option. First thing you'll notice is just how big this is once you see the box, much bigger than I expected. Good thing is there's instructions instructions there on the box because it is a little bit different the way they have it packaged which is pretty good I might add. You're not going to have to worry about anything getting damaged during shipping and you'll also notice they've got tape everywhere on this to keep things from moving around during shipping. Nice thing about this one it's pretty fast when printing rated at 40 pages per minute which is also the same as the more expensive 455 model. It can also print two-sided easily which my cheaper printers I've used in the past. It also comes with a user manual, power cord, and disc with drivers in the box. I couldn't find my older external drive to actually read the disc since most computers don't have a disc drive anymore. So I just downloaded the drivers from the Canon site, which actually worked pretty good for the most part. The tray at the bottom is pretty simple to use and holds up to 350 sheets of paper. As you can see here, it holds letter size paper and the adjustment can go past the back of the machine for legal size paper. I believe they also have an attachment for the bottom to have a second tray, but I doubt I would ever need that. You plug in the power right there on the back corner. You've also got an ethernet port and USB ports as well. It says not to connect the USB before installing the software on your computer, but I don't know if I agree with that, which I'll explain here shortly. A blank piece of paper goes through the machine when I first booted mine up, and then setting up is pretty straightforward. Mostly step-by-step -step stuff like language, date, time, then it goes to remote UI, which I skipped for now. I may have to look into that later to see if I would actually use it. You'll also want to go through and connect it to your Wi-Fi connection. It shows several on mine for some reason, but I'm pretty sure it only is going to work on 2.4 gigahertz. After you're connected, it's going to ask about toner replenishment service, which I didn't sign up for, so I'll just skip that part. It also is going to ask if you want to send extra information to Canon while using this printer. I chose not to accept that, but sort of personal preference there. You also have application library, which I believe works with the remote UI, so I probably won't be using that yet. On the home screen, you have several shortcuts to things like copy, scan, memory, memory, media print, secure print, menu address book, application library guide, paper settings. I won't go into every detail on all these, but you will notice in paper settings, you have several things you can adjust in there. The first thing I noticed is up in the corner where you see the back button, it's sort of hard to use because it's kind of small. I feel like it needs to be a little bit larger or they could increase the touch area of that button, but at least you have the home button to use as well. So you could go back that way. Then to go to the next screen, you can hit the arrows on the sides or just swipe being like you would on your phone or tablet. Then you'll see more shortcuts for things like mobile portal, home screen settings, update firmware, ID card copy, passport copy, operation guide, wireless LAN settings, and consumables information. Then on the next screen you have language, copy bleed reduce, scan a preset destination, name and scan, cloud apps, print template, standby slide, and copy eco. I feel like I'm going to have to dig deeper on some of these things because they could come in handy. The last screen has ID card copy, copy enhanced text, and toner delivery settings. You'll see the buttons below the screen is to put the printer to sleep on the left hand side, then to wake it up or go to the home screen there in the middle. The red button on the right hand side doesn't do anything, probably just lights up if there's an error. And then you can see there's a ton of menus, things to adjust, that's probably going to take some time to learn. I will show you where it shows the toner cartridge level, and luckily it's pretty easy to change out. There's a button on the side that you push, then the front panel pops out. Right there in the center you're going to see the Canon cartridge that just slides right out. Doesn't look too much different than other printers I've used then it should just slide right back into place and then just make sure you push it all the way in and then close the front and you should be good to go. Now mine had a firmware update so I went ahead and did that. Uh, just keep in mind it does take a while so you may want to go do something else and then come back and check later. 
using the wireless Wi-Fi connection seemed to work pretty good with my Android phone, but I did have to install the Canon Print Services app before it would work. Probably the easiest way to print was on my iPad using AirPrint since you don't have to install anything extra. And then my laptop seemed to print just fine after installing the drivers from online. But my desktop PC did struggle a little bit for some reason, so I had to use the USB cable to connect it. Not a huge deal considering that's how I was using my older printer, but just keep in mind there's going to be a lot of variables depending on what type of device you're using. So far it feels like this is a huge upgrade from my older Samsung laser printer, not only in size but how it operates and the features it has. So I'll probably have to use this for a month or two to see how it goes, but I definitely like what I'm seeing so far from this Canon printer. And if you're considering this model or the other ones that look just like it, I would say yeah, go ahead and try it out. This feels like a pretty good printer so far. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.